Welcome back to the cafe sampling series. Now, in this part, we're going to get to more cafes and hopefully I can wrap things up in this part. It's probably not happening though. There are way too many cafes. But anyway, let's get started. So, here we are at Being Around the World. I have with me a cup of Americano, and as per usual, we're going to try it and see how it tastes. Okay, so similar to the beanery, I really like this. It's really what you'd expect when you get coffee out of a coffee machine. <laughs> so, maybe people would find that a bit ordinary, but I think there's a certain beauty to simplicity, and yeah, the, beaner, uh, the beanery and being around the world both have that, so yeah, I'd recommend being around the world too. Right, so here we are at Perugia, an Italian cafe in the Life Sciences Center. Now, on a separate note, this is one of my favorite places to get lunch at because they serve really good Italian food, and I, I think the price is worth it as well. So, if you're ever on campus uh, during the weekdays, then this is definitely a good place to uh, to have lunch. Anyway, as per usual, I have an Americano here with me, and we're going to see how well it stacks up against the Americanos from all the other cafes. Okay, so, similar to what I said about so many of, of the other cafes before, it's exactly what you'd expect for coffee out of a machine. So, yeah, Perugia's uh, coffee tastes pretty nice too, so, yep, I'd recommend it. So, here we are at Great Dane Coffee. Now, a side note about this location, um, you have to go really far out of your way to reach it. So, kind of like the beanery, but this is... This is kind of close to Walter Gage residence. And it's... I, I don't know if any of the faculty buildings are close to it, but yeah. It's very... It's, it's not in the central part of campus, so be careful about that specific detail. And also, the indoor seating is scarce at best, so make sure you only come during the spring or the autumn or the summer when it's relatively warm outside, because you're most likely going to be sitting outside. But anyway, just like before, I have with me my usual Americano, and we're going to taste how this, well, tastes, and see how it compares against the previous cafes. So here we go. So mostly the same thing I said about the solder location for Loaf Cafe. It's not bad, but bland, if that makes sense. I'd say this is still a little bit better than Loaf Cafe in solder, but I don't think this would be my first choice. Great Dane Coffee is a little bit disappointing, I'd say, and the location certainly doesn't help, so <laughs> yeah. I'd say if you want just decent coffee, you're probably better off somewhere else. Here I am at JJ Bean. It's uh, along the street where you see all the shops, essentially. I don't know what the street is called, but you'll see shoppers, drug marts, Kinton Ramen, a bunch of places to eat, etc. This is certainly a very popular area, and right next to JJ Bean is Rain or Shine Ice Cream, which is also an extremely popular place to get, well, ice cream. I've tried it myself before, it is really good, so that's another place that I recommend, but how does JJ Bean's coffee stack up to the rest? As you can see, I have my Americano right here with me as per usual, and we're going to see how it tastes. Mm. 
the employees can't hear me, right? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like it. Um, it has the sort of sour aftertaste, which I don't find very appealing, but then again, that could be a matter of taste, so... Maybe you'll like it, but I don't, so... Yeah. Here we are at the Law Cafe in the Allard School of Law. Now, right off the bat, this place is pretty small. When I first saw the inside, I thought it was a convenience store. The one that I specifically decided not to review, but nope, turns out it's actually a cafe. But it, it's small, but it's also pretty empty, so if you wanna if you want a reliably empty study space where you have well space then this is a pretty empty and quiet space that you could study in. It's also really out of your way if you're not a law student, like the Allard School of Law is in this edge of campus, so you have to go out of your way if you aren't a law student, but I think this study space has potential. That doesn't affect how this coffee tastes though, so as per usual I have an Americano and we're going to see how well it stacks up to the others. It's okay, I guess. There's sort of the same bland problem as the Oaf Cafe Sober location, but to a lesser extent. Like, it's okay, but not my first choice, I'd say. And lo and behold, surprise, surprise, there are way too many cafes to get to. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this series forever, aren't I? But anyway, I hope to keep this episode short, and the other problem is some cafes have already closed for the term, so I'll have to get back to them when they actually reopen. I'll try to wrap things up in part three, and then we'll put all the cafes on a tier list. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, like, share, and subscribe to help support the channel. I'll see you next time. Okay, so here we are at Beaner. <laughs> Oops. Right off the bat. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to record the outside of the cafe when I leave. Forgot to do that. Now, a side note about this location it's very far off. Oops. Uh. I didn't think that through. <laughs> Give me a second. Here we are in the Allard Law. Allard Law Cafe. Allard is it? Allard is not a school of law. It is officially a cafe now. Oops. Mm -hmm.